The self-driving car is under development by a number of companies and is largely expected to be the next big wave in car technology. A number of companies have expressed a very public interest in self-driving technology, so we could very well see this effort snowball into a fully blown change in how we get around. Think about it, if a car could drive itself, hours of our time per day would be freed up for commuters everywhere. We could work on the drive to work, or we could drive all the way across the US for example without spending hours at rest stops, making pick stops, and only to refuel or recharge. Convenience however isn't even the best aspect of self-driving cars. These autonomous vehicles are already proving significantly safer than normal cars, with the potential to save thousands of lives per year. With so many companies working on new tech, it can be hard to keep track of them all. That's why I've put together a complete list of all the self-driving cars under development. So Google has been working on self-driving cars for a number of years, and have been very public about it. The company first announced that it was working on the technology in 2012, and originally started with modified cars from the likes of Toyota, Audi and Lexus. Soon however the company had built a fleet of self-driving cars composed entirely of modified Lexus SUVs. It had soon developed a car of its own to test with, appropriately called the Google car, which can be seen roaming the streets of Northern California for testing. In fact in June of this year Google announced that its cars had completed 1 million miles of driving which is a pretty amazing feat. Google itself hopes to have a self-driving car on the road by 2020. However, it doesn't intend to become a car manufacturer itself, instead likely licensing the technology to other companies. Tesla developing self-driving technology is also something that makes sense, especially considering the fact the company has largely remained at the forefront of automotive technology, both under the hood and behind the wheel. In fact, Tesla has equipped its cars with many of the sensors that would be required in self-driving cars enabling the company to turn on certain self-driving features with a simple software update. A few features are even already available, such as a mode that allows Tesla cars to drive themselves on highways. Of course, drivers themselves have to maintain control in cities. Apart from that, Tesla has hinted in the past that it may have something in the works with Google. As mentioned before, Google will likely license its technology to other companies, and Tesla certainly could be one of those companies. Of course, we will have to wait and see, as it seems as though Tesla is also developing its own self-driving technology. Honda is another company that has been pretty public about its development of self-driving cars. However, it certainly hasn't gotten as much publicity as the likes of Google. Honda's self-driving cars currently look similar to the car that Google uses to capture street view images, with large sensors on top of the car. The data captured by the sensors and cameras on the car is blended with GPS data, like street and speed limit information. While it might not look like it's ready for the road, Honda's self-driving car is a culmination of years of safety and auto tech research. The company has allowed a number of reporters to take test drives, many of which have said that the car can merge into traffic better than some people. Not only that, but the sensors can capture data hundreds of meters ahead of the car, showing traffic not only around the car, but also quite a bit in the distance. Mercedes' most notable involvement with self-driving technology has been with a research car called the F015. The car was designed to be ultra-futuristic in every way, with the interior of the car being extremely luxurious and roomy, offering plenty of room for things like working and sleeping. The two front seats of the car can also turn around so that the two sets of seats can face each other. The entire car is designed to be a driving experience from the year 2030. As far as the technology behind it goes, Mercedes is careful not to label the car as a concept car, preferring to instead call it a research car. In short, it is using the new car to develop its own driving technology. Mercedes says that it has made significant advancements in this. However, the car still doesn't react very well to rain or extreme heat. 
It's important to note that the car is still a prototype, however, it does highlight the fact that Mercedes is seriously working on self-driving technology. While some of the companies might be working with Google to develop self-driving technology, BMW has turned to Chinese search giant Baidu, often called the Chinese Google. In fact, Baidu says that it plans on releasing a fully functional autonomous vehicle by the end of the year. Yes, this year. The two companies first announced their partnership in April of 2015, and the goal is that the car will be first released in China, while it will be a prototype will be used to collect data and test how road-ready Baidu's self-driving technology is. Audi is another car maker set on getting a self-driving car out as soon as possible, and announced last year that it hoped to put one on sale by 2016. That means that sometime this year we should have a self-driving car from Audi. To prepare for the release, the company has built a Modify A7 which has been testing around the world, particularly in China. The Cupertino firm's autonomous vehicle hasn't been confirmed and probably won't be until we see it drive itself across the Apple event stage. However, with all the hype, it would be hard to imagine Apple not working on a self-driving technology. Rumors have been surfacing for months now about Apple building a team of top automotive engineers. Not only that, but the company has reportedly even been scoping out locations for top secret car testing. However, only time will tell if Apple actually releases a self-driving car of any kind. As some outlets citing sources close to the matter report that the company will release an electric car before a driverless one. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please press the like button and for more top trending videos, please subscribe to my channel Topmost Trends and I hope to see you again next time.